Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time we were on our way to go ahead and pick up a Lux Sphere, and uh, if we come over here, uh, oh, well, maybe? Another fight. This actually wouldn't be a bad opportunity to keep on showing you more gameplay. This is almost the same thing, so we're just going to get Waka to attack the Flyer, and we'll get Lulu to attack the Water Elemental one more time. And finally, we'll go ahead and get Titus to attack the quick one. <laughs> Just like that. I'm not caring too much about trying to, like, optimize it and get everybody AP, because at this point in the game, it's... We're just too early to really be able to care that much about it. So we'll talk to this woman here. We Crusaders are training for the upcoming operation. Call on us if you see any sin spawn. If we come up here... And we talk to these guys. On our way, sir. On our way, sir. Good day, Guardians. Many fiends have been sighted in areas attacked by sin. Please be careful on your journey. Obtain a high potion. Um, there definitely should be... That Lux Sphere. I don't know where. Somewhere, I guess. Uh, and this is basically the exact same fight, conveniently, so... We'll just run these guys through the exact same situation, and, uh... They'll be dead. Happy us. Like I said, I'm I'm not really caring too much about trying to get all of the um, the sphere upgrades taken care of because I just don't think it's all that important right now. now. I don't know where this Lux Sphere is, but you know what? We're just gonna continue on with the main story here, and if we find it, we find it. And this is another thing I haven't figured out 100% if I'm going to do yet. I haven't decided decided if I'm going to remove random fights from all these videos, because there's a solid chance that we're going to run into a lot of them. But trying to keep track of it and maintain 15-minute videos without them is going to be pretty difficult. So there's a good chance I'm going to leave a lot of them in. But... Oh, hello. Um, okay, I didn't mean to get into this fight this early. Oops, but, uh, that's okay. <laughs> I guess we're fighting Ochu now. I thought I could just sneak past him. Anyway, this is Ochu, uh, or Lord Ochu, actually, and he's not that difficult of a boss. But we're gonna make an attempt to overkill him. I, don't, I think he's immune to dark attacks, so we're just gonna attack. He is weak to fire, though. That's the only weakness that he presently has. So we're gonna keep Lulu in for this entire fight. Poison Claw, that's not so good. Uh, we can cure that. Uh, we can cure that with an antidote, though. Just like that. So let's get him out of here and let's get Kamari in. And I don't know if he can learn anything from this guy, but yeah, that's what I thought. That was worth a shot. Keep using fire on you real quick. And we'll actually take Titus out so we can get Yuna involved. And uh, we are going to summon with Yuna, but we're going to summon later with Yuna. Let's actually get Titus back in here now, and let's do a antidote. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get Waka back in here as well, and we'll just keep on attacking. Ow! I didn't think that was going to kill him. Jeez. Okay. I guess that's what happens, though. The boss is basically just hack and slash all over again, uh, with the exception of being able to use fire on him. Now, once he falls asleep, that's when we're going to try to get... Ooh, nice dodge. That's when we're going to try to get Yuna in uh, and summon, and we're going to see if we can overkill Lord Ochu here with... Um, with one of the Aeons, or in this case, our only Aeon. Although we're about to get our second Aeon, so that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, come on. Let's use this antidote one more time. It would also be nice if I could get Tidus to use his overdrive, but that may not happen. Ooh, look at that. And... Yeah, we'll go ahead and use fire on him. And then I believe we'll go ahead and pull, yeah. Then we'll go ahead and pull Yuna in here, and she can summon our Aeon to uh, our Aeon 
to uh, do a little bit of work here for us. You're going to see this animation a lot, although I think I might go into the settings and I'll turn off the long animations so we can just see the long animation one time and then move on with the fight. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's actually just see if we can wake him up with a fire spell. Oh no, we sure can't. Oh man, he recovered a whole bunch of HP. That was kind of dumb. I didn't think he recovered like 800. Oh my gosh, he recovered a ton. I guess I just had to physically attack him. You missed. Alright, let's... Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to overkill him now. I might actually dismiss my Aeon and just attack... Ugh. You know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to dismiss this Aeon. Uh, or I'm going to dismiss NCS. I'm going to get him a little bit closer to death. And then resummon NCS. Because I really want to get this overkill if I can help it. I think it's kind of imperative that we get it, because everybody's going to benefit from having that extra AP. Um... What is he at now? Let's bring Waka back in and just do an attack on him. Everybody's kind of low on HP, though, so... Ooh, good. Let's do, um... Yeah, like two more attacks, and then we'll take a look at his HP. 13, 13, 33. I don't feel good enough letting that be where I summon the Aeon. I think that this is where I'll go ahead and summon the Aeon and do the overdrive, though. So we'll get Yuna back out here, and sorry, guys, we have to watch this cutscene again. Okay, so uh, it should be Energy Blast, and I think this will overkill him, so I think we're in a good spot. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. As you can see, everyone benefited from that, so that was definitely worth it. And we got those MP spheres. A summoner and her guardians. Very impressive. Sir, we should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young crusaders gather around. We'll be <laughs> No, you won't. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you won't. Do your best, kid. Waka's counting on you. Taming the elixir and after the tournament, you should join the Crusaders. And we got nothing from them. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um Oh, maybe it's right up here, maybe? I don't know. I'm just looking around. Um is this a new enemy? Are any of these new? No. They're not. It's okay though. We'll leave this fight in just to have the fight. Look at that, though. Waka overkilling those enemies. That is good, though. Like, overkilling gets you so much more AP, so it's it's definitely worth doing it. Now, <clears throat> if you need to heal, you can go to abilities and then go to, like, Yuna, for example, and then we can just use her cure spell on everybody here, and that's more than enough to get us by. Oh, is this where that sphere is? Oh, please tell me this is it. Huzzah! Okay, so I did find it. <laughs> I was worried that I was going to be misleading everyone the whole time. Oh, come on. Say your prayers. <laughs> that was kind of cool. What I wouldn't give for a uh, no encounters ability right about now, though. Because a lot of these enemies are now ones that we have seen before. So. The good news is, though, we are... are 
getting pretty close to the end of the woods. And I don't know if I'm going to do any sphere leveling right away. I might go ahead and do a little bit. The thing is, I don't know what I'm going to do with Kamari yet. Oh, come on. I guess we'll just attack. Look at you, Waka. Good lord. Nice. Oh, that didn't kill him. Well, that's okay. I'll do Tidus' Overdrive then. Hey, there we go. Missed it the first time. That didn't overkill. Oh my god. That's crazy. That should have definitely overkilled him. <laughs> There's a lot of these I've never even noticed that they said before. That's kind of funny. Now, we're actually about to get into another boss fight. But important that we go ahead and do our sphere leveling here, actually. Uh, this one is not the easiest boss fight in the world. And it would also be nice if we could get haste. So, we'll go ahead and uh, get everything here. Flee! Uh, I, I do tend to use it, but I only use it in cases where... I'm overleveled and I just don't need to be doing any fights, which isn't necessarily all that often, but often enough to where it, it sometimes is nice to uh, have the option to, to leave a fight. Now, haste, that's an extremely important ability. That's one of the most important abilities that you're going to learn with him, actually. Uh, silence attack, okay, yeah. so we are going the right way. I haven't decided if, like, in the future, I'll speed up all my leveling that I do here on camera, or if I'll just do a lot of it off camera, but I think it's kind of actually nice to ha leave some of this, nice to ha leave some of this in here. I think that, uh, it's nice to see how it all, like, connects together, and how your characters get stronger, and I don't know how much of a difference this is all going to ultimately make in the grand scheme of things, but... I'm excited to try it out nonetheless. Uh, I actually don't know if this is the right way. Hold on. This is the right way. Okay. That's good. Um, the, here's the other thing, though. Uh, I do not want to move there. <laughs> um, I'm actually playing on the advanced, on the advanced sphere grid, so... That means that this is different than the traditional English one. It gives me a lot more choices. And it's also just different. Now, we'll go ahead and use one of these MP nodes. Having 40 extra MP, that's definitely kind of nice. Definitely kind of nice. I won't use the other one here, though, because I think it's probably important that we give you no one as well, just to be safe. And I don't know what ability this is. Uh, I don't care about getting focused right now. Now, Kamari. This is interesting. Because Kamari has a very different sort of path. He doesn't have the same kind of traditional path that a lot of other characters would. Um, he starts in the center, and you can kind of turn him into whatever character you want him to be. So I'm going to turn him into a thief which means that I need to go this way, but I also need to get a level 1 key sphere, which, at this point in the game, is a little on the rare side. Now, what is this? This ability is scan. Scan's not the most useful, either is uh, extract ability. So, I'm gonna wait on those. Actually, extract ability can be kind of useful, but it's, it's not the most useful thing in the world. And we will use an ability sphere to get this Null Blaze. And, uh, oh yeah, we'll pop that other MP sphere here as well. And... I guess we'll go ahead and drop that Mana Sphere right there. Now, it does kind of look like we're a little low on spheres in general. But, we're really not that low. As a matter of fact, we'll be uh, kind of swimming in them later on, so to speak. Um... Because you get them after pretty much every random encounter. <laughs> and, uh, as a result, it's not that difficult to deal with them. It, I think that in the future, you'll actually even be able to, like, 
And whenever we get our thief, which that's not for a while. We don't get her until, uh, I don't know, several, several more parts. I would say maybe not until like part 40 of this LP, maybe. I don't know. Actually, that might be overshooting it. I might be able to get to that point by the time part 30 comes oh, around. Oh. These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep. Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. <laughs> a race, huh? <clears throat> Think you can beat me? <laughs> Yuna, if you would. Uh. Hey! Hey! Ah! Huh? Hey! <laughs> and with that, this is actually a really good time for us to go ahead and save and quit, because in the next episode, we have a boss. So, without much further ado, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you guys later!